Good day, kids. How are you? Ako si Sir Kim, and welcome to our math class. Last time, we discussed about multiplying numbers and estimating products. Tignan natin kung naalala mo pa. Find the product of the following. You have 60 seconds to answer each. Time's up! If your answer is 192, very good! Let's have another one. Find the product of this. Time's up. If your answer is 26, very good. Next, find the estimated products of the following. Time's up. If your answer is 21,000, very good. Last one. Find the estimated product.
times up. If your answer is 5,000, very good. Talagang natandaan mo ang ating lesson last week. For this week, we'll be talking about multiplying mentally and problem solving involving multiplication. Our objectives for this week. Multiply mentally two digit by one to two digit numbers with products up to 200. And solves routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication of whole numbers. First, let's discuss multiplying mentally. Let's read this problem. Jason planted three rows of seedling in pots. Each row had 12 seedlings. How many seedlings did he plant in all? Let us discuss the problem. What did Jason plant in pots? How many rows of seedling are there? How many seedlings does each row have? What is asked in the problem? Dahil lang topic natin ay multiplying mentally, gagawin lang natin ito sa ating isip. 12 times 3. Una, i-expand muna natin yung 12. 10 and 2. Then, pares natin i-multiply kay 3. 10 times 3. Very good! 30. 2 times 3 naman. 6. Then, i-add natin ang nakuha nating products. 30 plus 6. Very good. 36. Let's have another example. 16 times 2. Expand lang natin ulit ang 16. 10 and 6. Then multiply natin pareha sa 2. 10 times 2. Very good. 20. 6 times 2. Very good. 12. Then i-add lang ulit natin. 20 plus 12. Very good. 16 times 2 is 32. Now, try this one. Multiply 48 and 2 mentally. Kung ganito ang ginawa mo, magaling. 40 and 8. 40 times 2 is 80 and 8 times 2 is 16. At pag inad sila, ang mga kuwang sagot ay 96. Before we start our next topic, find the product. Then write the corresponding letter of each product to solve the puzzle. What is the amount of money that is not spent or used? The answer is savings. Now let's discuss problem solving involving multiplication. Read the problem. Ruby receives from her mother the amount of 30 pesos as her daily allowance in school. She saves 5 pesos for future expenses. How much does she save in a month if there are 
21 school days. Gagamitin natin yung agonsa to solve the problem. A. Ask. What is ask in the problem? Ano nga ba yung hinahanap natin sa problem? Ruby's savings in a month if there are 21 school days. Now, let's find necessary information. G stands for given. What are the given facts? 5 pesos daily savings. 21 school days in a month. O stands for operation. Determine the operation to be used. Since ang topic natin ay multiplication, ang ating operation din ay multiplication. N stands for number sentence. Imumultiply lang natin yung given facts. 21 times 5 equals N dahil hindi pa natin alam ang ating product. Now, we will solve 21 times 5. 5 times 1 is 5. And 5 times 2. Very good. 10. And A stands for answer. The answer to our problem is 105 pesos. Now, let's try another one. A group. Of factory workers can wrap 830 candies an hour. How many candies can they wrap in 12 hours? Gagamitin ulit natin ang agonsa. What is asked in the problem? Very good. Number of candies that a group of factory workers can wrap in 12 hours. Next. What are the given facts? 830 candies and 72 hours. What is the operation to be used? Very good. Multiplication. Next is a number sentence. Very good. 830 times 12 equals N. Now, solve for the product of 830 and 12. And if your answer is 9,960, very good. And the answer to our problem is 9,960 candies. Yung dalawang problem na discuss natin are called routine problems. Kumagamit tayo ng solution para mahanap ang sagot sa problem. Now, let's try this one. Isolve natin itong non-routine problem. In a school canteen, four students can sit in a square table. How many students can sit in five square tables placed end-to-end? -end? With this kind of problem, hindi natin kailangan mag-solve ang kailangan natin gawin is to draw. Meron daw tayong 5 square tables na magkakatabi end to end. Kailangan natin malaman kung ilan na makakaupo. Sabi kanina, kaya daw makaupo ng apat na students sa isang table. Bilangin natin kung ilan na makakaupo kapag dikit-dikit ang limang square tables. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The answer to our problem is 12 students. 12 students can sit in 5 square tables placed end to end. In solving routine problems, tandaan natin ang gagamitin natin ay agonsa. Sa pagsosolve naman ng non-routine problems, ay pwede tayong mag-drawing para masagot ang problem. I hope that you understood our lesson for this week. See you again dito sa ating Math class.